Hello there. Welcome to another quick tutorial. In this video, I will show you a quick and easy way how to create a custom voice out of a few short audio clips. We will then use this voice for speaking any written text and create a realistic video animation out of it. It's not that difficult. I'm going to guide you through each step of the process and show you how it's done. I promise you to keep it as short and simple as possible. Just give it a try. Before we start, let me give you a good advice. As these new tools are getting ever more sophisticated, make sure to use them in a decent and ethical way. Never try to fool other people with deep fakes and do not get fooled yourself. Stay responsible and stay alert. Okay, now let me give a quick overview on what we need to do. First we need a few voice samples, each between 10 and 15 seconds long. The text is not important, it just should be of good quality and there shouldn't be any background noises. You can also get some voice clips from the internet if you don't want to train your own voice. It's important to save these clips as WAV files at the rate of 22 kHz and in float format. I'm using Audacity for this task because it's free and simple to use. Next we use a Google Colab script called Tortuas to train our custom voice and let it speak any written text we want. It's quite simple to use and I will show you each step in detail later on. Once the voice recordings are finished, we need an image of the person who should speak the text. I'm going to use Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 to create the image, but you could also use any photo of that person. For the last step, you will need a Stable Diffusion extension called Sad Talker, which we will need to download and install into Automatic 1111. Then import your image and your voice track and generate the animation with a simple click. Now let's walk through each step in detail. Ok, now let's first create our audio recordings with Audacity. Let's adjust the project settings. The sample rate is at 22 kHz and the sample format is 32-bit float. Now let's do the recording. Most people are not very familiar with the concept of artificial intelligence. Let me just speed up the process now. Now let's split the recording into 6 clips, each 15 seconds long. So I'm creating 6 labels with a different start and end time. Then let's export those clips with Export Multiple, select the destination folder and export them as WAV files. I also got some voice clips from the internet and here you can see all the files. Now let's play them. Most people are not very familiar with the concept of artificial intelligence. A, a public servant. They are temporary occupants. And thank you for sharing your time with me. Once that's done, we open our Google Colab file, link down below. Let's first copy it to our drive, which is located on Google servers. And then hit connect to create a runtime. For this script, we need a strong GPU. So let's check if we got one. Looks good. Then let's hit the play button of the first cell, which will install the required packages. Once that's finished, open the next cell. Let's enter a text that should be rendered later on. Let's leave the preset at high quality and give our custom voice a name. In my case, it's Gerald's voice. Then let's hit the play button and we will be asked to upload our audio clips. So let's do that. Now our custom voice is getting trained. And once that's done, we get a voice recording and then we need to wait for a few minutes. Then hit the next play button for creating our audio file, which might take a little while, depending on which GPU we got from Google. Now here's the recording, so let's play it. Hello there. Welcome to another quick tutorial. Sounds good, so let's download it. And if you want to render another text, which we do, just replace the text token with our next sentence and hit the play button again. Depending on the GPU and memory provided by Google, you can render a 10 to 15 seconds clip in one single run. You just need to check it out. 
and see what works for you. I'm speeding up the process a bit so you don't have to wait so long. And once that's done, let's go back to Audacity. Now we need to combine the clips into a single one, so let's import them and move each subsequent clip to the end of the previous one. Then let's select all and export the combined clip. I did it with all three voices, so let's take a listen. Hello there. Welcome to another quick tutorial. It's not that difficult. I'm going to guide you through each step of the process and show you how. Before we start, let me give you a good advice. Sounds good to me. So now let's create the animation with Stable Diffusion. Ok, here we are in Automatic 11.11 and I created an image of myself using a custom model which I created with Dreambooth. If you want to know how to do that, please check out my previous video called Picture Yourself in Stable Diffusion. Of course you can also use a simple photo of yourself or any other person you like. I also created a Stable Diffusion image of our second speaker and also of our third one. I will leave some links down below how to install Automatic 11.11 on your computer and how to create these images. But now let's install the extension we need for creating our lip synced animation which is called Sad Talker. Let's open the GitHub page of this extension, link down below. Click on code and copy the link. Then go back to Automatic 11.11, open the extensions tab, click on install from URL and paste the GitHub link there. Then hit install. Once that's done, click on the install button and click on apply and restart UI. Now let's go back to the GitHub page, scroll down a bit and click on check out more details here. We need to download some checkpoint files, so click on the Google Drive link, select all files and download them into your Stable Diffusion Web UI folder extensions sad talker checkpoints. You also need to install FFmpeg in case it's not already installed on your machine. I'll leave you a link down below and we also need GFB Gen for upscaling and enhancing our images. So you should also install it on your machine if it's not there yet. I will also leave a link down below. Now let's go to our terminal and stop our Stable Diffusion Web UI by pressing Ctrl C or Command C when you're on a Mac. Then restart your Web UI as usual with webui.sh on Mac or Linux or webui.user.bat on Windows. If you haven't got an NVIDIA GPU, you must add an option minus minus disable minus save minus unpickle, which tells Stable Diffusion to use the CPU instead. Ok, once the web UI is restarted, click on the Sad Talker tab, then upload the still image we just created. And also upload the audio file from Tortoise with your custom voice. Now let's tweak the settings. We leave the pose style at zero, but you can play around with this setting if you'd like to have a different pose. Let's leave the face model resolution at 256 because it renders much faster. But you should select GFB Gen as a face enhancer. And I would recommend to set the batch size in generation to at least four. Then hit Generate to create the animation. Depending on your GPU and CPU, that can take quite a while. Once the render is finished, you can find the animation at Stable Diffusion Web UI, Results, and there inside the folder that Sad Talker shows you on the screen after the render is finished. Now let's open the animation and let's play it. Hello there. Welcome to another quick tutorial. I'm going to guide you through each step of the process and show you how it's done. Never try to fool other people with deep fakes and do not get fooled yourself. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.